So I was in Walmart the other day and they had the gun from a Christmas story for $30. And I decided to pick one up for myself as a Christmas treat. I have not opened it yet. I'm gonna open it here on camera and just give you a little look at the box there. Of course, everybody knows this is the gun he wanted in the movie. And also Red Ryder uh, was a comic strip and comic book character. And he also had his own uh, radio program like they used to have back in the day in the 40s and 50s and stuff like that. So here's the back of the box. I just want to give you a good look at the box. It's really nice. I have it sitting by my Christmas tree. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, for $30, this is a really good deal to me. I was shocked about it. And it's actually an airsoft pistol, I believe. So uh, let me read a little bit off the back for you. Uh, it shoots 195 yards. And I do want to take it out in my backyard one day and shoot it. Not tonight, but in the daytime, I'll film it for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's an air gun. I haven't had an air gun in a long time. But uh, it just has some features here on the back. It has a working compass and sundial and a stock, a real stained solid wood stock, a compass, a sundial, a cocking lever, le lever excuse me, a leather thong, adjustable rear sight. I'm ready to open it. Sometimes I feel like a big old kid when I get stuff like this. This shows you the kind of times that we're in, though. They have a warning here. It says, do not brandish or display this air gun in public. It may confuse people and be a crime. Police and others may think this air gun is a firearm. Don't alter the markings to make it look more like a firearm. Okay, I won't be doing that, of course. This is just something for fun. I'm not even really going to use it. I have actual guns, so I don't really need to play with this. This is just something that to me was cool. And I want to keep the box nice, too, because I want to keep it in this box. This would be a great gift for somebody. I think a kid or an adult. Oh, yeah. And it uh, comes with an instruction manual here. And here it is. Let me get it out of this plastic. I almost don't want to take it out of the plastic. Oh, I see. Okay. It slides open. I'll do that. I kind of, sometimes I, I like to keep stuff in the, in the packaging. Like if I'm not going to be using it. <laughs> that is nice. That's a nice gun for $30. Let me give you a nice close-up view here. There's your sundial. It's got a compass right there. That is nice. And it has some instructions up here. It's got Red Rider engraved in the side. That is too nice. Man, this would make a nice gift for somebody, I swear. I'm ready to go back there right now. Man. I'm trying to read these instructions. I'm sorry, it's a little dark where I'm sitting. It's got some instructions here. It tells you how to cock it and work it. And then they have some little warnings here. For use by age 10 or older with adult supervision. This is this is really nice. <laughs> this is a really nice gun here. I mean, I, I like it. I feel like I'm ready to go hunting or something, even though I don't hunt. Well, not really with this, of course. It's a joke. I don't, sometimes people don't get my humor, so, <laughs> but, um, a bad joke. That's it, really. I just wanted to unbox it. Not much to say about it. You see it. It's very, um, it has weight to it. 
It's nice. It's nicely engraved. It doesn't, it's not cheap to me. I don't, I don't feel like it's cheaply made. It's very nice. But I do want to give you a warning when you use this. Be careful because you're going to shoot your eye out possibly. You got to throw that in. You can't leave without saying that. I haven't seen that movie in ages, really. I love that movie. That and Home Alone, the first two Home Alones. But anyway, here it is. Daisy, Red Rider gun. I don't know what to say. I love it. I'm I'm not I'm not upset about it. So um, yeah. All right. Thanks you guys for watching. I don't know what more to say about it. Oh, let me tell you what uh, what kind of BB it uses. I'm sure you could look it up, but um, boy, it's not on the box. That's odd. But you can look it up, or it's probably on the gun. For some reason, I can't see over here because it's not. Oh, here we go. 0.177 caliber BBs. Okay. Liver cocking spring air. Nice. And I don't think it comes with any. No. So you got to go buy those separate. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Tune in next time. I'll be back with something random, I'm sure. All right. Bye-bye.